Hey, today, today is uh, Wednesday, June 16th, and I'm here with Rebecca Lamort, who is a uh, candidate to represent Roosevelt Island on the Upper East Side in the Democratic Party primary for New York City Council District 5. So Rebecca, can you tell us something about your campaign, please? Absolutely. I'm so happy to be here on Roosevelt Island. We're out talking to voters about our fight for housing, disability, economic, and racial justice. Early voting's going on, and I just want to be sure everyone in the community knows that I'm someone that's going to fight for us. I have the personal and professional experience as a disabled New Yorker, as a longtime labor advocate, already being down at City Hall, helping pass laws that I'm ready to get to work for us on day one in our community. So I'm so happy to be here, and things are going really well as voting gets underway. I'm excited for the so, election ahead. So what do you think are the top issues facing Roosevelt Island and District 5? I would say the top issue is housing. Housing is the number one need on Roosevelt Island and also in other parts of the District 5 community. You know, when we think about the Mitchell Lama housing aging out of affordability, when we think about the loss of rent controlled and stabilized units, when we think about the development being done by Cornell, how it's not affordable housing, or the Riverwalk properties, for example, by related companies, also not affordable. We're not meeting the needs of island residents. And this is a beautiful island. It's a wonderful place to live. And if we don't dig deep and build the affordable housing that's needed for seniors, working families, people with disabilities, then we're going to displace so many residents. So I would say housing is the number one need here on the island. So as you know, Roosevelt Island is under the jurisdiction of the state. As a city council person, what do you think you could do to help the residents of the island? It is a little bit of a difficult situation between the city and state partnership, but there's still a lot we can do with the city council. We can use our budgetary powers to be sure that we're supporting island initiatives to improve accessibility, to be sure that when we do land use development here, that we're really targeting the affordable housing that we build and the other kinds of development, because land use and budget are two of the largest powers of a city council member. Outside of that, as a council member, I want to put my Albany knowledge to work. For the last 10 years, I've been a part of the labor movement, and I've been down at City Hall passing laws for union workers, but also up in Albany. So that's a devil I know, as I like to joke, and we need to demand that there's more accountability at REOC, that there's more island representation with binding votes on the REOC board. So that's something I really want to do and I'm eager to work on as council member to be sure that we have Roosevelt Island residents appointed to the REOC board and giving direct in, uh, oversight, giving direct feedback on the plans that are being done, because I think there's no one that can speak better to these issues and someone that calls the island home all the time. Great. Thank you very much and uh, good luck. Thank you so much.